let's talk about the possibility to write a content with AI. So it's content generation. So I will start from the option number one, when you can write a content using the content template. So here you have button AI writing, and you can just use one of the available templates here to um, generate content. So let's start, for example, from description. So description is just a description on the page level. So we are optimizing or building the page and we need just a page description. And um, in the page description, you have um, the terms that we are giving to you. So Neuron already um, understand what terms should be in the description. And we also have a few examples from your, uh, from your competitors. So, uh, well, I will just use generate. And as you can see here, we will have a few examples of description that can be used. Yes, so I will just copy, copy this to, to editor just to check which are are good ones. Yes, yeah, so I would say like, this is this is quite good one. So I will just uh, use this one, adding here as a meta. You know, I just went from, um, from a title. We have a description as well. So we have a title and description, both generated with the AI, and I just improved them a little bit. And then let's say we need um, some kind of, yeah, topic ideas for the article. Yeah, we can go for trial running shoes. And this is very, I would say this is just very basic. So we can look also for some kind of, you know, ideas, what we should, what we should have as a H1, for example, and so on. So I will just set the first one, it's okay. We just copy everything. And from the first one, I will just do make a H1. And so what's next? I will just keep this here. So what next you can do in, uh, um, in the AI writing? So as uh, we said, you have a different template. Mm, I will just look on the article intro. So how the article intro looks like. So you have here the main keyword or title, yes. It could be like try running shoes, but, or we can take one of those like what to look when buying trial running shoes. So I can just take this one. Uh, if you have specific keywords, you can add the keywords here. If you have some kind of bullet points, you can add them here, but I will just leave it like, like it is. So I will just give everything to, um, to AI. And I will say like creativity is quite high or very high which means it will be a little bit more content, um, less facts, more content. And I will just generate this article intro. Okay, so we have the article intro. And then we can, we can just write next paragraphs and so on and so on. Yes, so that's something that's something you can do. Um, what are the options? Uh, according to, for example, category description and so on. So we already have um, explained that, yes, you need just a name, category description, category name, or product name, or a title, or a header, and so on. And then optionally, uh, you can add some uh, keywords, and you can add some bullet points or a headers, extra headers, which will be useful for content generation. Here you have the output that can be used by for, for for output generation. So you can say like, okay, I would like to shorter paragraph or longer paragraph or longer category description, let's say. Um, and here the creativity, as you can see here with the, with the um, info, yes, with the tooltip and the quality means that we have some options to align how the content should be created. So basically that's all. Um, the second option to generate the content is to generate the content with the context menu. So let's say you have here something like H2. So we have a header and we would like to just create content for this header. So we can use, we can just highlight the content. We can use AI writing and say like, okay, start the paragraph, start paragraph or how to choose the right pair of trial and shoes. And we are using just generate, yes. So that's something that we can um, quite easy. 
and we have this paragraph so it's here and the third option is to use and i will just explain you how to use it it's use the content uh, on the article draft okay so if you are looking on the content draft for the headers level you can choose a header and this header will contain also um, um, following terms which can be used for the content creation so you can just copy this to editor you just copy it here so you see what to look for uh, for a trail trailing issues and if you use this beta generate you will have the the heading you will have the keywords and you can generate the content according to the headings and the keywords which are in specific paragraphs so that's basically this the three options the first option is to just generate content basically from the ai writing templates the second one is to generate the content from a context menu so here you have a context menu and the second the third one is to generate the content from a beta generate which is a generation um, with using the keywords from a draft Thank you so much and have fun with content generation.